Yo, welcome to this video where I'm going to go through all the skills in Valheim, show you what the skill itself does in depth, show you what leveling up the skill gives you, and the fastest way to level up the skill. So let's get into it. There will be timestamps in the description of this video to show you which skills are being looked at at what point in the video. On the timeline, there are also chapters to show when skills are being looked at. Okay, so the first skill we're going to go through is Sneak. So first, Sneak is literally just you are harder to see whilst doing this and enemies can't see you. So some other things worth note. If you look at the white bar under the reticle, you'll see it's very white. That is because we are in the bright outdoors. If we go into the forest and into the, the dark, essentially, you'll see that that bar now has a lot of black in it. So basically that shows you the level of light in the area and the brighter it is, the easier it is for you to be seen and it is, it is quite literal. So for example, if uh, an enemy can see you within 10 meters. So if this bar is half full, now they can only see you from five meters. So when you get your sneak to level 100, your stamina will be drained 75% slower and that little light bar underneath the reticle will have constant dark in it even if you're in the brightest area as you can see i've got mine to five just from sneaking around a little bit and there's a little bit of black there so when you get the skill to level 100 that bar will have a maximum of 60 percent full when you're in the brightest of areas and when you're in the darkest areas it will be at 20 percent okay so now let's go over how to level up your sneak so simply just sneaking around an enemy within 10 meters of them will level up your sneak However, you can also level up your sneak just, you know, nowhere near an enemy, just doing it like this. However, it'll be 10 times slower, so not really worth it. So the fastest way to level up your sneak is to set up something like this. So you want to have a shack where you can get a rested and resting buff and then have some sort of creature fenced in. More than likely, it'll be a boar and then have the fire on the other side because if it's too close, it'll spook the boar and then just get in here and just sneak into the wall constantly. And you can use the eek there bonus to drain your stamina even slower. Okay, so the next skill we're gonna go over is run. So as you can see, I did a test between level zero, level 50, and level 100 of the run skill. And as you can see, there is quite a big gap between zero and 100. So at level zero, you sprint at 24 kilometers an hour, and at level 100, you sprint at 30 kilometers an hour, and it is linear as far as I'm aware. Between level zero and level 100, you gain a full 25% sprint speed increase. Okay, so next is the stamina usage. So when you level up your run skill, it drains your stamina a lot slower. So as you can see, I did a test, and from level zero to 100, it halves the stamina usage from sprinting. Okay, so the fastest way to level up your sprint is to get a, a shack, same as the way to level up your sneak, and just run at a wall. And if you didn't know, you can just press Q and that'll do an auto run. However, you do still need to press shift to actually be sprinting. Okay, so the next skill we'll be going over is unarmed. Okay, so unarmed is arguably the most useless skill in the game, and it is simply just hitting things without a weapon. So when you level up your unarmed, it essentially doubles from level 0 to 100, essentially doubles the damage you do and reduces the stamina you use when punching by half. The fastest way to level up your unarmed is make a shelter with a fire so that you get the rested buff and punch a rock. Okay, so next we're going to go over axes and woodcutting in the same one as they sort of cover the same thing. Okay, so leveling up the axe skill will increase the damage you deal with an axe and reduce the stamina you use whilst using an axe, even if it is not on an enemy and is just on trees or the air. Leveling up the axe skill does not increase the damage you do to trees. So onto woodcutting now. If you hit multiple trees or like the branches, it will not double the amount of XP you gain. You still only gain the same amount as if you as if you were to hit one tree. However, if you hit a animal and a bush at the same time, it will level up both your axe and your woodcutting, and it will give you 1.5 times extra XP for both. So leveling up the axe skill will increase the damage you deal to enemies by 150%. And leveling up the woodcutting skill from 0 to 100 will increase your damage to trees with the axe by 100%. Okay, so the next skill we're going to be looking at is bows. So when you level up the bow skill, it increases your draw speed and it increases your damage. When leveling up the bow, hitting a tree or a rock or something like that grants half of the amount of experience that hitting an enemy normally does. The fastest way to level up the bow skill is to simply craft a load of wooden arrows and just sit shooting at a rock. The speed at which you shoot at doesn't change anything. The amount of experience you get is based purely on how many times you hit the rock. 
Okay, so the next skill we're going to be going over is blocking. Okay, so first, blocking is the only skill that gives you the full value of the piece of equipment that you've crafted at the start. So if you look at the shield, I get no there's 90 block power, and then in arrows, I get the full 90. Whereas with the sword, the black metal sword at level 1 can do 95 slash, but I only get 24 to 52. So when you raise the blocking skill to level 100, you get an extra 50% on your blocking power. When leveling up your blocking skill, parries grant double the amount of XP that normal blocks do. The amount of damage that you block does not affect how quickly it levels up, it is purely based on how many times you block. So the fastest way to level up your block skill is to simply get a large amount of enemies and just block while standing in front of them. The best enemy that I have found to do this is skeletons as they don't move around and you can just sit here holding block whilst they attack you. Okay next I'm going to go over all the melee weapons as they all function the same. So that includes clubs, swords, spears, knives and pole arms. So for all of these examples I'm going to use a sword but basically just replace any of the weapons you want to level instead of the sword and it will work the same. So I'm not going to cover the full calculation for the damage because it's quite complicated but Next to the weapon you can see the weapon's base power and then in the yellow brackets it shows you the power that you get from it based on your level in that skill. When you level up the skill to level 75 the max power of that weapon will be capped and the minimum damage of that weapon will then get closer and closer to the max but it will never reach the max so there is always a variance of the damage a weapon will do. When getting to level 100 with any of these skills you also get a 30% stamina reduction when using it. And the fastest way to level up any of these weapons is simply hitting a rock. Next we're going to be going over pickaxes. So the pickaxe skill functions the same as the weapon skill in the sense that it has a base power and then as you level up the skill you get closer and closer to using that full base power. So things of note when using a pickaxe, when you are underneath or to the side of an object you will get much less damage than if you are on top of it or like on the same level as it. So the fastest way to level up the pickaxe is to build a dojo of sorts with a fire so you can get the rest in buff and then instead of hitting a rock this time you need to find a tree or a tree stump works. Next we'll be going over the jump skill. By leveling up the jump skill you can increase the jump height of your character by 40%. So the fastest way to level up the jump skill is to place a wooden floor about in line with that top beam and just stand under it and jump over and over again. And as the same with the sneak you can also use the eat there bonus to reduce the stamina cost. When jumping, these jumps where you have no stamina doesn't count. You have to have used a full amount of stamina for it to count. So this jump, last jump, also doesn't count. And the final skill we're going to be going over is the swim skill. By leveling up the swim skill, you can reduce the amount of stamina you use while swimming. As you can see, your stamina lasts about twice as long at level 100. The fastest way to level your swimming skill is to set up something like this and if you press Q it will auto swim and if you get the height right where the waves will bring you up and down you can swap between walking and swimming which will recharge your stamina. And that is all the skills in Valheim so thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.